ladies and gentlemen, I am the Platinum Blonde Bomb, the Bootylicious, Twerkalicious, Rachel Ray Cray Bostic, aka Ray Lynn, and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia, and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Ray Lynn. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm feeling fabulous. I just had an awesome match. I picked yes. up the win. Of course. Weren't you just yeah. expecting that going into Rise? 7? I always expect that going into Rise. <laughs> <laughs> how has your experience been here so far? Because this is an absolutely stacked card. Oh, God. Today has just been amazing from the seminar this morning with Mercedes Martinez. Yes. She's so incredible and we learned so much and then uh, later on we did a seminar portion with Medusa and Gail mm -hmm. Kim and those are two of the people I really have looked up to in my career so that yeah. was really exciting getting input and advice from them. So Rise is just an incredible thing for up and coming women wrestlers. If you're not doing Rise, you're probably living under a rock. <laughs> okay. I would think, yeah. <laughs> I know you've been a wrestling fan since you were a really young kid, and then you trained in martial arts and then kickboxing, so yeah. like super well versed in a bunch of different things. But what was it about wrestling where you're like, maybe I might put these other two to the side and just go all in? So, this is gonna sound super silly. <laughs> I was obsessed with the Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. So, okay. like, I really I couldn't be a Ninja Turtle because I'm not a turtle, unfortunately. And then uh, Power Rangers. I, I just don't know where I never went that route. So I did karate, and I was like, I'm going to be a Power Ranger when I grow up. <laughs> and Power Rangers wasn't really big for a while, so I was like, oh, wrestling's close, I guess. And now, do you feel it? Like, you feel yeah, like sometimes I connected? feel like a Power Ranger. Sometimes? Yeah. I mean, I can kind of tell, like, the outfit a little yeah, bit, Yeah, this too. is, more, this so is cool. uh, Mortal Kombat more. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. see it, though. <laughs> I, I'm, like, I'm, I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, I see it. Yeah. I absolutely <laughs> see it. Well, I know that your middle name on all social platforms is Ray Cray. Mm -hmm. So where did that originally come from? Because you are crazy in the ring. So it was kind of funny. I think it was another wrestler. I want to say maybe Mandy Leon. And me and her were somewhere, and we were talking and talking. And she goes, girl, you're so Ray Cray. And I'm like, Ray Cray. And Ooh. like, it just stuck. Like, after that, it got stuck. Like, my friends always call me Ray Ray. Or I had, like, really bad party names. That I, I won't, <laughs> They're not politically correct, but it would be, like, Ray something. And I'm like, oh, and it kind of stuck with me. So I'm like, Ray Cray is perfect. Okay. So as, you don't have to mention the party name. So what are some other nicknames that you have either now or ones that you had growing up? Um, Ray Ray, Ray Cray, Rach. I would think that would be about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love seeing you come out to the ring because I never know what color lipstick you're going to wear. Like, you always do some really, really cool stuff with your makeup. So have you always experimented with that kind of? I actually am a cosmetologist, so I went to cosmetology school. I like to play with hair and makeup and try different things. Like, my hair is always a different color. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I like to always just be trying new things. And I'm a Libra, and Libras are really well known for just being kind of out there with their, like, clothing choices okay. and kind of out of the box. Like, I am definitely, like, the brightest bulb. Right? You see me when I walk into a room. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you always been that way? Or did that kind of happen later on? I have since on? I was a little kid, yeah. Yeah? I, like, and my mom was always really cool about it. I remember being in, like, third, fourth grade with different color hair, <laughs> wearing bright lipsticks, awesome. glitter. Like, my mom's always been very, like, supportive of my creative yeah. outlets. Well, how about when you look back to certain fads that you went through, is there... That head shake says it so all bad. already. I was going to say, what comes to mind? If there are any embarrassing phases or things that you just wish, like, why did I do that? Why did I do that? So Hot Topic was really popular, but I, for my cousins, whenever they were in, like, middle school, high school, and I was in elementary school, and I just wanted so much to be like them that I started making my mom buy these, like, I had these, like, ridiculous, like, really wide leg rainbow jeans. Rainbow jeans? Rainbow jeans. And, like, I remember the kids at school being, like, kind of trying to pick on me about it, but I didn't take bullying, like, I didn't take it, because I was in karate. I was like, I'll nice. just kick your ass. Like, <laughs> so I would get in trouble all the time. It. I'm like, yeah, I'll kick your ass in my rainbow jeans, you know what I'm saying? And, um... <laughs> <laughs> That's the main thing that comes to mind, the rainbow the, jeans? They were hideous. Like, they were so ugly. So was it, like, up and down colors? It was, like, tie-dye, rainbow, big, Jenko, like... Oh, my God. Oh, they were so ugly. Hot Topic's big on, like, the Jenko flare. They were yeah. at that time, and they were just hideous. And the shirts <laughs> I wore with them were probably even worse. 
<laughs> You're almost like, I'm not even going to touch on the shirt. No, but I see some of the pictures and I'm like, oh. oh why did I go there? I think we, we all have that, though, yeah. for sure. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say that yourself and Dylan Bostic make an absolutely adorable couple. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> when you're both not in the ring, how do you like spending that rare downtime? Oh, my gosh. Uh, it's kind of hard. We don't see each other much. Uh, he works during the day, and I kind of work a like a mid shift kind of job. Mm -hmm. We only work like three days a week because we're traveling so much. <laughs> but when we see each other, we're like, let's just watch a movie, and maybe eat some junk food. <laughs> and I, it's not really junk food either. It's probably just like a bowl of peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so that's kind of like a go to when you yeah. have like, almost like I guess you could call it like a cheat snack. Yeah, we have like little cheat snacks. I'll bake like little protein stuff. But, but and then. Uh, we we train a lot together, which is nice because we try to do a lot of things together. Like we work out together, we train in the ring together. So like when I'm wrestling girls, sometimes I'm like, oh, it's like different because he's so yeah. big. <laughs> <laughs> well, also in the ring, you were part of Team Twerk Team with Marty Bell. Yeah. And you two know how to kind of dance and shake your booties in there. So was that originally when you wanted to have a team together? You were like, all right, this is going to be our thing from the start. So actually, we just both kept getting the same sets of gear made, and we didn't even know. Like, we'd show up to a show, be like, "I got this new gear," and I'm be like, "That, you know, like, oh, me too." <laughs> and then we just both had like consecutive sets of the same gear made, so we decided that we should be a team. Okay, it was that easy. And then whenever we're around each other, that's what, we just acted like that because we get so excited when we <laughs> see each other. We just dance and we have a good time. So Aww. it turned into that. I love that. What is a go-to dance move for you? It would be like the twerk. Really? It would be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, here on the site, we not only interview wrestlers, but also musicians. Okay. So if you could hang out with any band or artist for a day, which would that be? Okay, so it would really actually blow your mind that I don't really listen to pop music at all. <laughs> That's like my character. But uh, I really, really like Pantera. And I know Dimebag's dead, but that's who I'd want to hang out with. Okay. Yeah. So is it more like hard rock and metal that you're into? Yeah. And then I also like 2 chains. Like, <laughs> that would be cool, too. Actually, I think I'd have more fun with 2 chains. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you were in a band, what member do you think you would be? Have you ever kind of tried to dabble into something? Yeah. Like so I tried to play an instrument, and I tried to play the bass guitar, and that didn't work out. I don't, I'm not good at it. I didn't practice. It just sat there. So I might have been good at it, but I never practiced. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is that something that you would maybe like to try, or how are you at singing? No. 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 Nope. No, I tried. I, I thought I'd be a rock star. Wrestling's good enough. Okay. <laughs> you need to be a rock star in the ring. That's all you yeah. need. <laughs> well, just to wrap things up, I do want to leave it with the fans. Is there anything you want to say to all of those viewing? Uh, not really. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, thanks for your continued support. And if you'd like to give me a follow, I'm at Twitter at R-A-Y underscore L-Y-N. And you can follow me on Instagram at R-A-Y star S-T-A-R five. Well, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank me you. today. It's my pleasure. It's fun. And remember to everyone viewing, you visit us at alishatoot.com for all exclusive interviews and features. We'll see you next time. <laughs>